Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. <sighs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Today, I'm on a private estate of nine luxury houses. That's right, I, this is just a beautiful estate, estate, and I know it's beautiful because we have already sold four of the houses here. Every time I do a video, someone comes along and buys a property in this estate. And the reason why is because it's the accessibility of it. It's private, but you've got everything on your doorstep. The airport's about 35 minutes away. Perugia is about 40 minutes away. Cortona is within an hour. You've got restaurants and beautiful Umbrian countryside just all around you. Now, this house has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a wonderful, wonderful reception room and two tiers of a garden space and direct access to the swimming pool. <sighs> the price will be at the end. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Right, well, the first thing I want to show you is the garden area of this house. Now this property is 200 square meters and it has three bedrooms and a, just a beautiful living room, which we are going to see in a moment. There are other houses which are around you, but you do get a feeling how it's been designed as incredibly private. And this is a credible private space. And that's where I did the introduction of the video and it is a lovely seating area out of the direct sun covered by wisteria. It's just stunning. Now this house is maintained and the gardens and grounds of the estate are maintained by a friend of mine called James and he just does an outstanding job. He really does. And if we just walk along this gravel path, you are then going to be presented with somebody in the pool. <laughs> with a stunning 15 by 5 meter swimming pool. I'm just going to come down those stairs. Isn't that beautiful? What you can see in the distance are the pine trees, which are, uh, well, which is the private drive coming in. And look at the quality of the, the garden, the way that that's being maintained. And further in the distance, you can see the private car parking space. And I really like that. So you, you know, you park your car and, you know, you've got to walk to your house. I know that you can drive in if you've got a large shop that you want to just drop off and oh, I wish I was getting in that pool right now. That sounds divine. Um, and then you can return your car to the park car parking area. There is the tennis court and I am just going to now pull around and show you how beautiful the gardens are. I mean, they really are just stunningly beautiful. Hey, look at that. Gorgeous. You might be able to hear a car along the small road, which is outside. Bliss. All right, let's pop up to the house. Okay, so I've just walked up the stairs from the first garden and then here we come into the second garden area and I'm going to pull back so to give you a view of the property and the surrounding area. I can hear a light airplane in the distance. 
And isn't that just a beautiful little house? Well, it's not that little actually, it's 200 square meters. The main villa is to the left and there is another property uh, again to the left of me, but the private entrance um, is not shared. So it's your own private entrance. And if I come around from this little terrace where you'll be having your alfresco supper, all you can see is just a beautiful Umbrian countryside. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Right, let's get in. Um, now, I think I'm going to come through this door. I'm not going to go through the front door. I'm just because we're here, I'm going to go straight into um, the main, the main living room. And as the camera adjusts and we go in you will see what would have been a cantina of some description. It has rendered barrel vaulted ceilings and I'm just going to pull around and show you these lovely central two columns. And so in the corner you can get an idea of the size of this room. Now I don't like using too much <coughs> so excuse me of a wide angle lens because I think it just distorts the reality. I know other realtors want to use you know a 12 millimeter lens and you come and see the property and you know it's half the size of what you saw in the pictures and you know I, I, I just don't like that so I don't do that. But if I just pan around now. In the corner, in the middle of the view is the front door and we are going to go across and I'm going to show you the kitchen area. Nice kitchen. The two big doors which are on the left hand side now is a whopping big fridge freezer. I think I'm just going to change the hands on the camera. And I'm just going to show you that. Uh, it's not. <laughs> There's only one. And it squeaks. Perfect. I haven't turned any lights on today. And this room, it's just, it has a really lovely feel about it. If I come down and I show you these tiles, these are new and they have been fired in a traditional wood kiln. And they're just jolly nice. They really are. You wouldn't have any problems with those whatsoever. Also, because this was a original barn, uh, the walls are incredibly thick and it's over 30 degrees outside. And it's lovely and cool here. Gas central heating. I cannot see any air conditioning units downstairs. Let's see whether we can find some upstairs. Wood burner for those lovely winter evenings. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, up we go. So to the left of me is the front door. 
And as the walkway we came along, and as I pull the camera around, and then we go up, let me see what happens there. Yes, I am gonna turn that little light on there. These are the original stairs, and aren't they just beautiful? They really are just gorgeous. All in original stone, and they must be over 200 years old. Coming up to the top of the stairs, you have a big cupboard on your left-hand side. And then turning around, you've got a hallway. Done in a very classic Italian style. Now this property has three bedrooms and the owners have two children and this is their room and if I pull up you've got really nice woodwork on the ceiling and again in a Tuscan style it has been plastered in between the wood and I don't mind that you know it does throw a lot of light into the room coming down you've got a big wardrobe nice traditional wooden doors And directly across from bedroom one, you come into another hallway and a bathroom. This room has had the glass frosted for privacy and what I can see here is a nice bath a shower, sink, bidet and everything that you would need from your beautiful holiday home in Italy Upstairs they have original tiles. Where are we gonna go, Nick? I'm gonna show you those in a minute. But I'm just gonna come down to bedroom two. And in between the two bedrooms, there's, uh, an, uh, well, I mean, what is it? it, it it's, well, it's a, a desk and a chair and an office and a huge built-in closet with a skylight. And that's why we've got such wonderful light coming down as well. Yeah, I really like that. Then we're walking into bedroom two and I'm now going to pull down. So I want to show you these original tiles. I do like this size. They are 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters and I really do like them. It's a lovely room. It's facing east in a lovely light in the morning. Look at the woodwork coming up. Spots above. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to uh, walk over now. It's got two windows, which is jolly nice. And I'm just gonna walk over to the end of the room and turn around so that you can see, it's a nice picture. You can see the double bed and then you can get a feeling of space.
Now this door leads into bedroom number three and we're going to go into that room now but you don't actually have to have it you can open the door as a door and I suppose if you really wanted to you could block that up because you come immediately back into the hallway yeah three bedrooms 200 square meters your private gated estate master bedroom again the same tiles throughout and again a very simple room oh look at that you do have lovely windows throughout in the bedrooms as well and if I pull up here again you've got really lovely woodwork yeah it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I think I'm gonna go over and put the camera out the window that's exactly what I'm gonna do maybe we can get a, a feeling of uh, the distance and the space of the estate let me just open that beautiful I can hear a little bit of noise in the distance but I mean it's a long way away Let's come back into uh, the master bedroom. Yeah, I do like the fact that this room has two, two windows. Really is very pretty. It's jolly light, isn't it? I haven't got a single light on. It really is. Nice big wardrobe in the corner, chest of drawers. It's very simple. And then if we come into this bathroom en suite, we have a round sink and again, a lovely window. It really is beautiful. And a toilet and do I see a bidet I don't know I'm gonna to have to close the door one second no no bidet in this room but a jolly nice shower this room also has a very nice balcony overlooking the grounds as well oh <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, Nick, what were you thinking? Right, um, okay, just put it here. Just open this. Oh, don't close on me, everyone. Well, I can't seem to get out. <laughs> there. Beautiful. It's hot. Summer has arrived. <clears throat> what have we got? We've got 200 square meters. We've got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Stunning reception room. Beautiful alfresco dining area. Lovely private seating area where you can go and read your book. Communal garden. Communal swimming pool. 15 meters by 5 meters. Nice pool. Tennis court. Private parking. Only nine houses. Interesting, isn't it? Property tax. Property tax is 2,400, 2,000, sorry, 240 euros a year. The rubbish tax is 250 euros a year. And the condominium taxes is 2,000 euros a year. And 
I think that's cheap. For what James does here, it's absolutely fantastic. As I said, Perugia, 40 minutes maximum. Airport, 35 minutes maximum. Cortona, within an hour. Countryside, hills, walks, loads of restaurants. It couldn't be better. Now, one of the things that I need to tell you is that basically, as this is a small gated community, the owners have collectively decided that basically they do not want to commercially rent their houses, or they have decided together that they do not or you cannot commercially rent your houses. You can give them to friends and family. That's absolutely fine. And personally, I think that's a great idea. If it was a bigger estate, I can understand somebody might really want to rent it. But as a small estate and privacy and tranquility and luxury, that is a great idea. And the price. The price for this little jewel is 495,000 euros and it's coming to the market as of you watching this video on the day it is published. I hope you enjoyed this tour. My name is Nick Brand and these are my Italian one take property tours. 92,000 subscribers and that is all because of you. Thank you. If you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push, push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.